one disadvantage of the sliding mode control which we have studied is the chattering effect let's uh, further elaborate this chattering effect and again we use the same example uh, the system the control action is over here and uh, you see that this is on off controller as soon as trajectories reach on the sliding surface that is as soon as this is equal to zero what happens control becomes zero uh, instantaneously as soon as trajectories reach on the sliding surface the control action must become instantaneously equal to zero quickly equal to zero however this control has to be realized by some kind of actuator what are actuators actuators convert this uh, signal into some actuating real physical signal and uh, for example in this case uh, this uh, what is control uh, input over here the, the torque applied by some kind of motor maybe so these actuators uh, they have their own dynamics as well these cannot instantaneously respond to these control actions they are all they are always associated with some kind of delay for example if you uh, here uh, in this case of motor if you uh, ask the motor to quickly uh, stop applying any torque it cannot do that it has its own dynamics so due to these uncertainties and uh, switching uh, delays there is an effect which is called chattering let's uh, use phase portraits to explain this concept uh, here is the phase plane uh, x1 axis and this is x2 axis uh, this line shows the sliding surface that is on this uh, line uh, s is equal to 0 uh, on uh, this side of the line s is less than 0 and uh, on this side of the line s is greater than 0 uh, we also use uh, the phase portraits of uh, these uh, two dynamic systems uh, one dynamic system is over here and its uh, phase portrait is uh, shown over here this is another dynamic system and its phase portrait is shown over here uh, you remember that we had found uh, this control law uh, by finding uh, somehow an upper bound on this expression that is uh, this dynamic system with this control law uh, is approximately described uh, either by this system or uh, by this system not exactly but approximately uh, that is uh, when uh, uh, we have uh, s less than zero a uh, signum of s will be minus one and this control action will be positive and uh, this control uh, this uh, this uh, dynamic system will be somehow similar to this dynamic system with this phase portrait and when s is greater than zero this will be control action will be negative and this dynamic system is uh, somehow similar to uh, this dynamic system with this phase portrait so let's uh, see uh, the behavior of this dynamic system with this control action uh, by considering uh, some particular con initial condition let's say this initial condition so at uh, this initial condition uh, we see that uh, x1 is negative and x2 is equal to zero uh, that is uh, uh, this thing uh, x1 plus x2 is negative and uh, this control action will be somehow uh, positive minus 4 into signum of negative number will be plus 4 and uh, that is corresponding to uh, this initial condition this uh, a dynamic system with this control action will be somehow uh, similar to this dynamic system not exactly again uh, so uh, it will follow uh, trajectories similar to this one to reach to the sliding surface these trajectories uh, and these uh, these are shown over here that is it will follow this line to reach to the sliding surface ideally what should happen uh, as soon as uh, we reach this line s equal to 0 signum of s sh uh, is equal to 0 and control action should instantaneously become equal to 0 however due to uh, delays in the switching devices and imperfections uh, what happens is that control action cannot become instantaneously equal to 0 it will take some additional time for the control action uh, to be equal to 0 therefore trajectories 
across this sliding surface. Here what we see is that at this point s has become larger than 0 that is signum of s will be positive and this control action will be now negative. This overall dynamic system will be somehow similar to this dynamic system and therefore uh, the uh, trajectories will uh, follow a path similar to this one and uh, here uh, the trajectories will follow this path uh, again uh, ideally what should happen is that uh, on this line s is equal to 0 at this point s is equal to 0 ideally control action should uh, instantaneously become equal to 0 but due to again delays in these switching devices uh, control action does not become equal to zero therefore trajectories cross the sliding surface and now s is less than zero again trajectories will follow path similar to this one to uh, reach to the sliding surface but uh, again uh, it cannot become instantaneously equal to zero therefore trajectories cross the sliding surface this process will continue until finally the trajectories reach uh, uh, the equilibrium point at origin so what we see is that uh, for some time uh, for some uh, duration control action is positive uh, it becomes negative again positive so there is uh, continuous uh, oscillations between positive and negative control actions and uh, remember that these are not impulses these are some pulses with the finite duration and uh, uh, the control action is continuously fluctuating between uh, positive and negative values and uh, this phenomena is called chattering this is undesirable not only the actuator will be continuously uh, changing uh, its actuation signal from positive to negative but also the output variables uh, will be uh, fluctuating so we have uh, demonstrated uh, this phenomena using MATLAB simulations on the next slide. We have considered the same system uh, with the same control action but now uh, considering the actuator dynamics. That is the motor over here is not uh, um, a perfect switching device rather we have consider, uh, the, considered the dynamics of the motors in the next uh, simulations. So only look at uh, this uh, diagram uh, what we have done is that we know that uh, uh, the actuator will have its own dynamics and uh, now we have uh, incorporated the dynamics of the actuator as well the dynamics uh, uh, of this actuator are taken uh, to be some uh, low pass uh, filter although it has uh, been taken to have fast uh, eigenvalues so actuator is still much faster but it has some dynamics poles are at minus 100 that is it is quite fast uh, fast uh, actuator but uh, we have added these dynamics to uh, the actuator and uh, let's uh, simulate uh, this thing so this is the situation uh, when you have no uh, dynamics of the actuator and this is the case when you also incorporate the dynamics of actuator this uh, is the plot of angular position here the effect of chattering is not uh, so much visible but uh, that is uh, apparent on the face portraits uh, when you do not have actuator dynamics this is the case trajectories starting from any initial condition they reach the sliding surface and then uh, slide along the uh, sliding surface to reach at uh, the equilibrium point at origin here you have the chattering which is visible over here and uh, plot of the sliding surface uh, with respect to uh, uh, time so this was the situation uh, sliding surface became uh, equal to zero and then stayed equal to zero here when you incorporate the actuator dynamics uh, sliding surface is not exactly equal to zero on this, on this line s is equal to 0 but here it is uh, uh, moving around uh, the uh, line s equal to 0 that is also visible over here on this horizontal axis here we have time uh, time on this horizontal axis and this is the phase portrait x1 on uh, horizontal axis and x2 on the vertical axis 
that you already know right and uh, uh, the control action this was the control action uh, when uh, uh, you had not incorporated the actuator dynamics and uh, here these were uh, impulses and average control uh, is shown over here compared to that when you have uh, actuator dynamics that is delays are imperfections in the switching devices then uh, in, instead of impulses you have pulses over here and uh, the average uh, control that is shown over here uh, you see that it is not a smooth control action here it was smooth control action this is not the smooth control action that is the actuator has uh, to change its directions very frequently apply force in positive apply torque in positive direction and then negative and then positive and so on so therefore this phenomena uh, is undesirable this is basically uh, one uh, problem associated with the uh, sliding mode control and uh, in the next lecture we shall learn how to resolve these uh, problems uh, two strategies uh, will be discussed to uh, overcome this chattering phenomenon.